this is Stampy, and welcome to a Terraria video, and another video in my Terry world. Uh, <laughs> if you didn't see the, the last episode, uh, yeah, I have now left my wonderful world, only for now. Don't worry, this is a brand new world, and the reason I've loaded up this world, well, there's two main reasons. Uh, one of them uh, is because there's been a, uh, a relatively new update, uh, which has added some more things. So I hope that if I explore this world that I might be able to uh, to come across some of them. Uh, I'm also trying to make the Master Ninja Gear. And uh, to, to make that, I need to get some climbing claws and some shoe spikes. And I need to find them in chests in a world. I pretty much looked in all of the, the chests in my wonderful world. So I loaded up a, a brand new world. Uh, yeah, just to, to try and find some chests. So if I do come across them, that would be amazing. I know in <laughs> in a, in a all realistic chances, I'm not just going to stumble across a chest and get exactly what I need. But who knows? I may get really lucky. And uh, there is a little bit of a development uh, between this episode and the, the last episode. If I show you my inventory, you will see that I have a lucky black belt. And the reason I got the, the black belt is because I went back to the, uh, the the dungeon and I did a bit more exploring and I took out one of the, uh, what's it called, the, the bone lees. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, that's one of the things that I needed. So at least I've, I've ticked off one of the, the boxes uh, for things that I needed uh, to find. So I know I need to find one of these items underground. I can't remember which one it is. And I wonder if it means just under the ground down here or in the underworld. Should we go and have a look down at the, the underworld? It's not too dangerous anymore. And look how fast I can dig. <laughs> I'm like almost digging as fast as you can drop. I am just destroying this ground. So I've actually even got some um, some potions as well. I got a Splunker potion so I can have one of them. And then I believe I got, yeah, some mining potions as well here. And this is going to allow me to uh, to dig an extra 25% faster. So let's go and, uh, and dig now. And whoa, look at me go. <laughs> I'm literally pretty much digging down as fast as I can drop. And oh, I found a chest as well. Let's go and have a look in here. Uh, magic mirror. I got a bit of gold. Hmm, yeah, not uh, not anything particularly impressive. Let's go and grab the, the gold, though. I can't say no to, to that. So there we go. At least I found a chest by just randomly digging down. And it's weird because all of these ores, they're really, like, special now. No, what's, what's this thing? I've not seen this thing before. Can you see this? What is this thing? Can I, can I get it? Uh, it said gold. Was that a gold coin? I don't know what that thing was then. There's a, um... Oh yeah, there's a, uh, a life crystal here. Might as well go and grab that while I'm here. That was uh, that was quite peculiar. I've no idea what that that thing was. I don't know if it was something that looks obvious, but because of the the spelunker potion, it was glowing or something. But I'm uh, I'm not sure. What's that? A snow something. Oh, I killed it before I had uh, <laughs> had, uh, had time to to read it. I guess we're in the underground snow biome. And what are all what are all of these things around here? I just just so there's things here that I can destroy. I wonder if that does anything. Yep, I am uh, <laughs> just uh, about as much as a noob as I always am. And oh, there's a, a th that's just something I can break. Oh, that was just something I can break. And oh, there's another torch, uh, another chest down here as well. Seems to be like a, a snow chest. And uh, let's go in to open up this and see what we can uh, find. Oh, an ice blade. I'm going to take it. Like, I'm sure it's not that amazing compared to swords that I have. I mean, it only does 10, uh, 16, sorry, damage. But I don't have one. So this is going to be my only real chance to, to get one. Uh, oh, a recall potion. I don't really need that. But I might as well uh, go and grab these um, uh, these torches since I'm spreading them out everywhere. So I'm, I'm doing a pretty good job finding the, the chests. I'm just not doing a very good job finding anything in them <laughs> is the, the only problem. I'm probably getting a... Uh, I'm probably getting pretty deep down though, uh, down though by the looks of things. I've been digging down uh, quite a lot and just look how fast I dig. That is absolutely crazy. So uh, yeah, let's not worry about getting uh, all of these things uh, on the way. Let's really just focus on the, the, the chest. Unless there's something that really like stands out. Uh, like the last episode, I of course found the um, uh, the pyramid, which is why I'm wearing this crazy pharaoh mask still. Uh, so yeah, unless I see something like that, uh, let's just focus on digging down. And ah, we have found some lava. That is something that could still deal a lot of damage to me. So let's Let's try and, uh, and avoid that as much as we can. Uh, but apart from that, let's just go and uh, dig our way straight down. I can't believe how fast I can dig with this pickaxe. It's unbelievable. Like, I'm so used to, like, slowly trudging my way down. But now going down to, like, the, the underworld, it's just nothing. It's just, like, no big deal. And, oh, that is lava, though. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go here. And let's go and have a, a look in some of the uh, the, the chests you find here. Uh, just to see if we get anything um, uh, anything particularly useful around here. So, what did the... Uh, what do the, the chests look like in this place? I can't, I can't really remember. And oh, that's lava. That's lava. I was looking ahead of me rather than looking at what I was standing in. <laughs> Let's go wander this way for a little bit because that side seemed to be uh, pretty blocked off. And there's there's lots of like, um, 
like of these vases things around here, aren't there? And so these have like stuff in, but it's the uh, the proper chest that I'm after, the ones that you have to open. But there's all like these clocks and stuff around here. These are all these are all things I don't have. I'm sure that uh, if you've started playing Terraria more recently or been loading up new worlds, like a lot of this is probably uh, pretty old news to you. But for me at the moment, uh, this is all still uh, uh, pretty brand new and uh, exciting. So let's go and dig my way down here. I just want to know what the um the the chest properly look like because everything kind of looks the uh <laughs> the same in this area so i want to make sure that i haven't found a, a chest but just not realize that it was a, a a chest so let's go and keep wandering around here oh that's lava again what am i doing <laughs> i keep like looking ahead of me rather than looking at uh yeah what i'm going actually into uh luckily i am pretty um i'm pretty tough right now like with this armor and stuff like it does take quite a lot to to damage me uh but yeah swimming uh, in lava is one of the 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 things that would uh, <laughs> uh hurt me uh, enough so let's go out this way and then let's go and keep going to the the right there seems to be a lot more buildings and the buildings look very different uh, compared to how i remember them there's lava there i was careful to uh, to see at that time it uh, looks like i might need to to go through this building though so let's just kind of dig my way through here and then let's have a look down on this side there's just stuff everywhere like my inventory is like completely filled up just from all of these all of these things that I've been just gathering the, the whole way. And oh, I seem to have let a lot of lava in. I think that's a, <laughs> that's my cue to, to leave this house. And it's quite nice being in this world. Because I don't care about ruining it. You know, like in my wonderful world. Like, I'm pretty tidy in it. You know, I don't want her to, to make a mess. But in this world, I just don't care. Because, you know, I'm, I'm only going to play in this world, you know, for now. While I'm kind of experiencing these new things. But I don't seem to be finding any chests. I've either, I've either seen chests, but not realized they're chests. Or I, ha I just haven't found any. Like, surely I, have I wouldn't have been this unlike uh, unlucky like i remember when i went to the um the, the underworld in my wonderful world. You know, I found loads of chests. I got like a, a bunch of pretty good weapons at the, the time in the, the underworld as well. So I'd, I'd hope to find something here. Like, I don't know whether the, um, uh, like the spiky shoes or any of that stuff spawns in the underworld. I feel like it's probably, uh, pretty unlikely. But uh, let's have a look in this building. If we don't find anything here, oh, I found a bed. <laughs> yeah, if we don't find anything here, uh, let's just go and uh, wander off somewhere else. So, uh, yeah, it was kind of cool to, to see this. I didn't find anything uh, particularly useful. So let's just go and uh, head back up to the, uh, uh, not to the surface, but to the, the underneath of this cave here and uh, let's uh, let's keep digging up and if you don't know why I'm trying to to get the the master ninja gear by the way if you missed that episode is because I'm trying to at the moment uh, battle Duke Fishron and uh, Duke Fishron he's pretty tough he's actually probably more difficult than the uh, the, the golem and Orcram like I thought they were like the hard bosses but I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I'm finding Duke Fishron to be a, a little bit more difficult. He absolutely destroyed me. And I think the main problem wasn't like me not dealing enough damage. I think it was because I was taking too much damage. I think that's what the, the problem was. And oh, look, there's a few chests around here. Let's go and uh, uh, have some of these potions again. And uh, let's go and, uh, and check these potions. These seem, uh, uh, these um, chests, sorry, these seem a little bit more likely. I accidentally spilt lava all over that one. So let's look at this one. And, oh, shoe spikes. I found them just sitting here in this chest. <laughs> that is exactly what I needed. I needed shoe spikes. So the other thing I need is climbing claws, but I don't know if I can find them in a chest down here. I think I might. Can I put some blocks down so I can stand here, please? I think I might need to get them on the surface. Oh, look, I got more shoe spikes. <laughs> it's like you'd wait for a bus, no bus come, and then two come at the same time. I can't believe that. I spent ages looking for these shoe spikes. And then I find one, I open another chest, and I immediately find more again. Seriously, what are the chances of that? That is unbelievable. Well, there we go. That's, uh, that's shoe spikes ticked off the, uh, the, the list then so i'm pretty sure I, mean, I might be wrong here i am often wrong you know how wrong i am on terraria <laughs> i i do believe that to find the climbing claws which is the other thing that i need uh, to make the the tiger climbing gear i believe i need to find a chest on the surface but I think I looked at all of the, the chests on the surface on this world. Like, unless it doesn't mean right on the surface, but it means higher up. So let's just go into and dig my way up. We can keep just looking around in case we find uh, something else down here. But yeah, let's um let's go and try and get a little bit closer to the uh, the, the surface and find some more chests around here. Uh, I can't believe how lucky I was. So I'm doing pretty good now. So I got, as I said, the, the black belt. That's one thing ticked off. I got the, the spike shoe. So I still need the, uh, the tabby, T-A-B-I. I still need that. And uh, that's another thing that I'm going to have to, to get from from uh, a bone lee in the uh, the dungeon and oh there is a uh, another ice chest down here can you see this uh, let's go and uh, have a little bit of a, a look in here oh a snowball cannon 
That doesn't sound particularly deadly, but it sounds like a lot of fun. I might grab this chest, actually. Can I take everything from it? Uh, actually, let's not worry about it, because my inventory is so uh, filled up. So, hey, yeah, there we go. Uh, I got myself a, um, uh, yeah, I got myself a snowball cannon. So, what does it fire? Do I just need, like, snow on me and then I can shoot things with it? Because that would be pretty cool if that's the, the case. Let's go and have a little bit of a, a test with it. Should I go back up to the, the surface and go and play around with the uh, uh, my new toy, the uh, the, <laughs> the snowball cannon a bit? And what I think I am going to do is I am going to uh, to double check in between episodes and see if I do need to find a uh, a chest on the, the surface for the climbing claws. I'm pretty sure that's what it said. So I might have to load up a, a brand new world and uh, just keep kind of doing that until I'm able to, to find it. And then it's going to be back to the, the dungeon because I need to, to go back to the dungeon. Uh, to to get the um uh, what's it called? I need to get the uh, the tabby in there, and uh, I also it sounds like I'm trying to get a cat or something. <laughs> and I also need to get the the tactical shotgun, uh, which is the other thing that I think that uh, I needed. And once I've got that, I think I'm going to be ready. Uh, well, ready for another attempt at least. I don't know if I'm going to be ready to, to win, but then I think I'm going to be all set for my uh, my next attempt, uh, going after the the Duke Fish Ron. You know what? I'm just loving digging, especially in this snow. Is it, doesn't this just feel really satisfying? I know you're not controlling it, but I am. But just that sound, that fud, and how quick it is. This is honestly so satisfying, just digging through all of this stuff to, to get to the, the surface. <laughs> just how quick it is, and just something about that that sound. I don't know, it just, it's just really enjoyable just digging through all of like this soft snow and ice. <laughs> right then, we should be uh, pretty close to the, the surface by now. I don't know if the worlds have got any bigger. It just feels like um, I'm digging down lower uh, to, to get to the underworld than I had been before. All right then, this is probably going to be a perfect place to try out the, uh, the snowball cannon. So, full range damage, uh, very fast speed. It doesn't say anything about what, it, um, what ammo it uses. Oh, it says zero. Do I need to like craft snowballs? Is that because I've got I've got bullets on me and do I have I got snow on me as well I got snow blocks. Is there like any snowballs that I can craft? They're, they're not something that I, I've really seen anywhere. I mean, what, what section would they even be in for crafting snowballs? Uh, maybe I could go and look in the the bullet section. Oh, there we go. Here we go. A bunch of snowballs here. Let's go and uh, uh, get rid of uh, something that I don't need. And I realize I'm getting attacked, by the way. Oh, I killed it. <laughs> Without even playing, I was able to, to kill it. Right, let's go and make a, a whole bunch more uh, snowballs then, shall we? And yeah, we can go and uh, have ourselves a snowball fight then. So I think it is just a weapon. I think it is just a normal weapon. It says it does four range damage. So it's a pretty rubbish weapon. But I guess the, the best thing about it is that, like, you're never going to really run out of ammo. And whoa! Has it got loads of knockback? Oh, it says, it says average knockback, but I think that might be talking about my the particular one I have, because that sign seemed to go flying, didn't it? <laughs> uh, let's go to, like, the, uh, the the corruption, then. Let's go to the, the left here, and let's battle some things over here with my with my slime ball, shall I? It's just kind of fun just to see all of these weapons that I missed out on, uh, just because they, they weren't in the... Um Oh, yeah, they weren't in the game when I was uh, loading up my world for the first time. So these are all things that I probably would have used at one point. It doesn't really make much sense of me using them now just because I got so much better stuff. But it's still fun just to, to play with them. So let's see, can I hit any of these guys with my snowballs? This weapon is absolutely awful, isn't it? Look at it. This is how fast it fires. It does next to no damage and it knocks them back a little bit. This may be just the worst weapon in the game. To be fair, it is firing snowballs. I didn't expect it to, to absolutely destroy the enemies. <laughs> it is just snowballs at the, the end of the day. Well, let's try out this ice sword. I know this isn't going to be much better, uh, but let's just see if it's fun to use. Oh, it does shoot like a, like a little frost magic spark. So I reckon back in the day, if I found that when I was starting off my Terraria journey, I would have been more than chuffed to have uh, discovered this thing. <laughs> All right then. Well, to be honest with you, I'm going to be totally honest. I don't know what to do right now because I found one thing. I don't know if I can find anything else here. So tell you what, let's go back to, to visit my, uh, my old wonderful world then, shall we? So let's go and save and exit from here. And uh, let's go back to, to my wonderful world. And uh, yeah, let's just see what's going on around there. I don't know, maybe there's a new merchant or something going around here. Like, I could go to the dungeon. But just after the last time I went to the dungeon and got absolutely just uh, destroyed, it's put me off going from the dungeon. Like, I know I'm going to need to go back to that dungeon. But it's just really horrible. There's like that... That paladin thing that shows up. Do you remember that really strong thing that was just like throwing giant hammers at me? He wasn't a very nice person, and I really wouldn't like to, to experience battling him again. <laughs> it's uh, It wasn't much fun last time. He totally destroyed me. And uh, when I went down to the, the dungeon in between uh, this episode and the, the last, the same thing kind of happened. But tell you what, let's set aside a, a chest in order to, to make this thing. So uh, let's go and put the uh, the black belt in there. Uh, we can put the, uh, the the shoe spikes in here as well. And then, yeah, once I get uh, everything else I need, I can go and just put all of that inside of this... um. 
uh, this this uh, this same chest, and then I have everything. Oh uh, uh, yeah, everything that I need. So uh, yeah, what I think I'm gonna do, seeing as I had such a success, I am gonna end the uh, the episode here. There's no point kind of just dragging it on because I'm honest, I just don't know what to do. <laughs> I have no plan for what to do. Uh, to be honest, I didn't think I was gonna find those shoe spikes, and when I did, it kind of threw me off a little bit. So I was like, oh. I've done my objective now, I don't know what else to do. So tell you what, in between this episode and the next episode, I'm going to find out where I need to get the, the climbing claws and we'll try and get them. And then I promise, I promise we will be going back to that horrible dungeon that I still have nightmares about. <laughs> uh, anyway, sadly, uh, that is the, uh, the end of this episode here. So as always, I'll leave a link down in the uh, description uh, to the next episode of uh, Terraria Once It's Online. But for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all uh, later. Bye!